It began during the Napoleonic era in France when enemy soldiers were raiding farmhouses. The farmers would burn their crops to show that they had no food to give the soldiers. This caused Napoleon to develop a new way of preserving food, canning. This idea traveled across France and west into the United States. In 1870, George Dunning, a salesman from Prince Edward County, traveled to Philadelphia to attend a food exhibition. He came back to Prince Edward County with an entrepreneurial idea to present to Wellington Bolter. Dunning and Bolter built a factory on Bolter's farm, and in 1882, they became the first successful fruit and vegetable cannery in Canada. The canning industry in Prince Edward County thrived from the 1890s till the 1970s. Prince Edward County was known as the Garden County of Canada. The population of Prince Edward County was very busy. Farmers were growing crops, women and men worked in the canning factories, and children worked seasonal jobs in the canneries. Lana Lashford was a young woman who worked there from age 13 to 16. My job in the pea factory, which was... Lipson's canning factory was putting down cans. This this sounds funny, but what we really did is we put cans down from up in the top uh, second level of the factory. We put them down to the um, equipment below. Now that sounds easy, but first of all, the empty boxes of cans. They were all packed. They would come in on the train. There was a train track right beside Lipson's Canning Factory. The girls, we would go down. We would, we had a conveyor belt. We would unload the um, train car, put them on a conveyor belt, which took them to the upper level. And there were two, uh, two other girls up there who would take these and load them onto a box cart. Then they, they would take these boxes and stack them in the warehouse, the upper level warehouse, where we put down cans. To put down cans was another operation. Two ladies sat um, on a sort of like a conveyor, they sat with a conveyor belt in front of them, which was perhaps as wide as a can. The uh, two other people would put boxes in front of us of the cans. They were turned on their sides, and all we saw were 12 cans packed in a box. We got, so we could put our fingers in and pick up all 12 cans and put them on the conveyor belt, and they would roll on. They would go downstairs to where the peas were sorted and, and um, cooked and put in the cans downstairs. That was another part of the operation, which we girls didn't do. But did we have fun or what? At night, when no bosses were around, we used to make forts up in in the great big huge boxes that were all packed. And we would go in there and sort of like take turns having a little nap. And there would be lookouts, of course. But um, that was what we did all night long. And there was, uh, it was like a an operation, whereas two people would load up the carts, bring the can, all the cans in their boxes over to the put down can ladies. Someone would push open the box flaps, lay them on their side, and push them up to the two girls putting down the cans. Always I worked upstairs putting down cans. And I made 35 cents an hour. By the 1970s, other factories posed competition towards Prince Edward County, and new regulation forced local canners to close their plants.